minutes from the October meeting. Any discussions, comments about the October minutes? All right, if we have nothing, do we have a motion? Motion to approve. We have a motion. Do we have a second? second? All in favor say aye. 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 Just opposed? All right, so moving down to the ground mounted sign applications. So, first item on the agenda is the Farragut Oral Surgery and Implant Center. It's on West Point Drive. Uh, just changing the face on an existing sign, it appears. Yep, so. that's what they're doing. Um, here's what the new sign will look like. Uh, it, it's compliant with our, our requirements for size and height. It, you know, the setbacks are existing. They're really just, um, you know, going to clean up the columns a little bit and, and, and add an all new, you know, sign um, uh, face with two tenant panels on it. Um, my one comment originally was, you know, for them to upgrade the landscaping, but they've already done that. And uh, um, uh, this is the existing sign as it is now, and uh, they've added, um, you know, the minimum number of shrubs around the base of the sign. So um, it's it's ready for approval. So it'll it'll be that that landscaping with that new sign face. Actually, you have it in the background. It looks like they changed the dentist. Um, yeah, they may have. It's, uh, and, you know, obviously they got a vacant space in there because they don't have the other, other tenant panel, but they'll be able to add that second tenant panel. All right. Looks legible. Any, any discussion? Looks good. We have a motion? Motion to approve. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All right, so moving down to the landscape plan application. So the first one is the parking lot expansion. I guess this is beside the old Kroger mm -hmm. building there on Kingston Park. Uh, yes, sir. Um, they're, they're adding a small, um, it's about a five-space parking lot. There'll be some permeable, permeable pavers. They're going to make some improvements to the access to the, you know, to the larger property in there. Um, my only comment originally was uh, um, to the designer was to add the visibility triangles, and you can see they've um, already updated the plan. This is a revised plan from what was in your packet, um, where they've you know put the visibility triangles mm -hmm. on on there. But um, it uh, you know they're they're taking out a few small existing trees that are right along the edge of the um, access drive and. Um, uh, and, and one other there along Brook Lawn, but uh, they're adding in uh, four shade trees, and they're also putting in that planting bed, which I believe is associated with some bioretention as well. Um, so it's a, it's a compliant um, landscaping plan. Where are the pavers going to be? It, it, it's that sort of hatched looking. Right there? The yeah. Okay. Because in my, my, okay, gotcha. Yeah. It's right uh, there. All righty. Since I'm new, can you explain to me what the triangles are? It's right in that area. Okay, I got it now. Mine didn't show up on my, my yeah. but if you, if you look real hard at that. Um, the uh, visibility triangles are just an area that needs to be reserved so that, you know, so there's sight distance at an intersection. So oh, we try so to keep yeah. signs. And, Nothing and, there. No, keep or, it empty. Or, or either trees are going to be high enough or shrubs are going to be low enough that they're not going to impact, uh, you know, the the, uh, the sight distance of a, of a car being at that intersection trying to trying to pull out. How about the far left tree? Is that going to interfere with that triangle? No, um, you know, it's, it's, it's back behind and then it'll be, you know, um, they'll be able to limit up so it doesn't, it, you know, it doesn't impact the visibility there. We sort of try to keep it, you know, the distance a sort of like a driver's height, you know, clear in, in there. So if there's something a little higher, that's, you know, that's not as big a deal as, as something at, at eye level. What type of trees are those? Um, you know, I can't, I don't know if I can zoom in on this. Um, They're right here. I can't quite read it on the plan, but it, it you know, we checked all the species. They're all, all okay. Hollies. Holly elm. Ho hollies and. Alley elm, maybe? And is alley, that? Yeah. yeah. Which is what? I'm not, not familiar with that. Um, have you ever been back in a. Uh, on the subdivision behind the uh, uh, town hall, there it's a it's a it's an it's a elm tree. It's got uh, sort of a, a, a bark that um, peels a little bit. It's a it's an attractive tree. Okay. 
I've got a lot to learn with landscaping. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm not. I, I, I'm not. I'm nowhere near as knowledgeable as Mark is on the on the different species. I just want to confirm the old Kroger building's at the bottom of the drawing, right? Uh, yes, sir. That's what I was wondering. Yep. At the very bottom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is you know this is on the. Um, uh, um, there's a Mexican restaurant there on the corner of, of yeah. Brooklawn and Kingston Pike. Yeah, and then there's the driveway behind well, it. This is and then this is the sort of yeah, yeah. empty grass yeah. space that's yeah. behind yeah. that, right yeah. along Brooklawn. Oh, okay. Right there. Okay. Right. right. So, yes. so the building is at the bottom of this the bottom, screen. At the very bottom is the, screen, the Kroger, yes. like right there. This yeah. is Kroger. Kroger. Yeah. This is the existing yeah. street, the right. building. That's the Kroger. The restaurant's right here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The, right. Where the shrub di di diagram exactly. is. Exactly. The, gotcha. the uh, Mexican restaurant sits up yeah. in here. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> it took me a minute. So, the, I mean, that's going to make that space look better there. Is there a, is there a reason they're, they're doing this other um, than just to make it look better? It, it, there is a reason. Yeah, I, I, think, <laughs> I, I think they're adding some parking and, and they're, and they're and, and they're also, you know, aligning, you know, the cuts there and, and putting in another cut for, I guess, for, you know, some future development at some point in the future. So that, that far um, southern uh, cut off of Brooklawn is actually a new one right there. Which one point, please? Right okay. Right, right there, and I circled in green. Is this getting ready to do something? With the crew? I don't know. I think Ron was going to let us. I think Ron was going to tell us what's going to happen. I can't hear you. The lease of that, I mean. The lease is up. Yeah. Is it up already? Oh, I thought it was up in 2020. No, it's, it's up. up now? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, well, I mean, understand. to me, it looks like they're doing a good job. Yep. <clears throat> so. Me too. So with the, you know, with the addition of the, how did you figure out that that's um, where that that going was from? Of those <laughs> visibility triangles, it, it 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 meets all the town standards for approval. Okay. And then, so on that right there, where's the restaurant? Okay. Was there any uh, any other discussion on the parking lot expansion? So comments. Point to the restaurant right there. Okay. All right. No. All right. Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Do we have a no second? Conditions. I'll second. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion and second I, on that. Oh, okay. I made the motion. She, either one of us. Both of them together. <laughs> okay. It takes us down to the next landscaping uh, plan for Admiral's Landing. Another place that's uh, being redeveloped to uh, yep. look a little nicer, right? Yeah, the uh, the old gas station is gone. I'm oh, sure you've all noticed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, this is a landscaping plan for that site. Uh, it's already gone through the planning commission and gotten site plan approval for the development. Um, they obviously have a demolition permit. They, you know, already are in the process of removing what was on the site and. Um, <clears throat> Uh, you know, once the landscaping plan gets approved, they'll probably be looking to get a grading permit and then, you know, start moving forward with uh, with development on the site. Um, we had a few comments, I think, uh, I had in the, mm -hmm. in the memo here. Uh, they've actually addressed all of these. I have three different versions of this plan uh, in the PowerPoint I added. Um, uh, the first version is, is uh, what, what was in your packet. Uh, they worked at addressing the issues that were uh, listed by staff. Um, the second plan here uh, was their first attempt at addressing all those issues. They did, but um, we did have a question on whether or not one of the trees that they were proposing to be saved uh, could be saved. Right. And uh, they had an arborist look at it and uh, determined that it, 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 it wasn't going to survive. So they had to go back and add additional trees for, for taking that one out. So, you know, so the one we had a question about was um, this one right up here that was going to be in a small landscape island, uh, and, the, and the arborist felt there'd be too much uh, root um, damage to that uh, as part of the construction on the site for it to really live. So they had to take that out. And um, So are you saying all four of those trees are going? No, just that one. Actually, of all the trees on the site, there's going to be very few that aren't going to be removed. And they're, so they're, they're going to have to. 
All four of those right there. Along. No, no, no. Just no. that one. Just one. Just this one. They were they were claiming okay. as a credit tree for that they were going to save on the property, and 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 it's 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 too confined a space, and there's going to be too much you know disturbance and construction activity around it. So the arborist you know felt that it 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 wouldn't survive the construction phase. So they will not be able to credit that tree. So they have to go back and add additional gotcha. trees. So what they've done is uh, late this afternoon we got another revision of this plan and so this this final revision is what they're going with now and uh, so they've 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 added additional trees to the site to offset for the one they lost um, I have a question though um, I noticed it says a dogwood and it's right there well mm -hmm. okay um, we had a problem with the dogwoods in the past I mean it isn't it crazy because this used to be the dogwood festival it still is but um, is this, is it, I mean, it's okay. A lot of times there were diseased dogwoods or they were not, you know, a lot of them were dying. So is They've got a, different cultivars now that are a little bit more resistant better. to that. And, and, and the plan was done by a landscape architect. So they know yeah. because there for a while we were kind of worried, you know, we went through that stage of with the dogwoods. Yeah. Yeah. That. So I wondered if that's maybe make a note of that just to see because I don't know what type, and, and it's right there at this part. You see where it is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know where it is. Um, you, right, it's, you see? Yeah. And that's a it's right good in there. spot to where, it, with the other stuff around it, that, you know, it's going to be. Just make a note of that if you don't. Sure. To, to ask them about that, because I know that there for a while we had some problems with <clears throat> that. Yeah, that was one of the things that Mark would bring up quite often yeah. is that dogwoods don't do very well in the town. And, and especially we have like seen a number of them. Exactly. For some reason, they do not. We hit a spot that almost the, the disease just took hmm. a lot of them out. Mm -hmm. So just ask if you don't mind. Sure. Other than that, this looks great. Yeah. Yeah, they've, they've, they've gone back in. They rebalanced their numbers for the number of trees they have to put in for the replacement of the lost tree, plus mm -hmm. the shade trees that are required based on the amount of development being done on the site. Um, they've got a lot of landscaping on that site, obviously. Yeah. Um, uh, we got this reversion, this version of the revision uh, late this afternoon, but um, uh, both Mark and I looked it over, and, and you know, for the, you know, the... Uh, you know, the various materials that they're proposing to use all seem reasonable. Um, in that exit, yes, I was going to ask about the exit um, on the bottom right of this, mm -hmm. is that a right turn only, or is there going to be left turn it, out of there? Because yeah, it what, it'll be right, right in, in, right out. Okay, yeah. right I thought in, there was right some right conversation out. around yeah. that. Right there's supposed to be a monument sign too. Where are they going to put it with all the trees and everything? There? Um, I'm not sure where they're going to put their sign. That's one of the problems we've been having is it's, that the sign at the there, top. Comes there's in an after. existing sign there now for the for the medical building that's that's to the north of it. Up here or something, yeah. yeah. Is that what they're pointing out here on the plan? There's one up here. Yeah. Says yes. signage. Yeah. But they said they were gonna have one on Kingston Pike by this entrance that uh, Brittany, uh, Brittany was just Somebody where it says turf, can they put it on that side? Or is that What's to that? Look, where it that says turf like the turf top? to the right of the entrance? Or is that too close to? Those? I don't know what our requirements are. Can they put it that close to the property line? Depending on 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 how large it's going to be, um, you know. I just what, worry about even turning right yeah, out me too. there. Um, I mean, I know. I mean, I personally, my sister had a car total there. So even when it was Phillips 66 and there was no um, landscaping at all on that side, so just from. Personal. I mean, the, the amount of traffic that comes through there, even right out of there, if there's any trees um, or blockage of any sort, seeing left out of there, especially that close to the property line because of the other trees and the wooded area, it's difficult to see um, who's coming and getting over in that lane. I just wonder if that tree could be moved back. Okay. I, I agree with that, uh, mm -hmm. and I think we also need to ask, subject to where's their sign going to be, mm -hmm. because if there's a monument sign there and a tree, we got a real problem. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, they won't be able to locate the monument sign in, in the visibility triangle. So, you know, and, and those triangles are, are, are on that drawing. This is. 
Yeah, you can see them. You know, so the so the sign won't won't be in there, and and the tree hopefully will you know be up up above you know the sight distance. But you know they've got the visibility triangles drawn in there. But I do agree with Brittany on this one. When you're even if the tree's going to be a little bit higher. Um, over time, that can change a little bit and droop down. Whatever, that's a hard spot there, and I would, I would prefer us not have anything there that could impact the visibility turning out. Is that something they just decided to put there, or was that something we suggested they put there? Um, that was something that's been on the plan all along. In fact, we suggested um, um, smaller trees than they originally proposed for that area, and in in part because there's a little overhead power line in there, and and we. We thought um, so. Mark suggested that they go with uh, a Winter King Horth, uh, Horthon instead of. I think on the original plan they were proposing um, a much larger tree. For, yeah, I think so. If we approve this subject to reviewing it, does that have to come back to us, or can staff make that decision? No. If 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 you you know direct us to have you know to have them look at whether or not there's going to be any any site site distance issues there, we can you know. You know, they'll either have to, you know, show us that there won't be or they'll have to, you know, redesign just those entrance ways. I mean, you know, they do have to have a certain number of trees on the site and, and they don't have a lot of room. If if it was the type of thing where they completely remove them, they might have to, you know, mm. provide trees elsewhere in the town to, to make up for it because they really don't have much room left there to put any trees uh, on the site. But I'm sure that could be worked out. Yeah. I mean, they, they added a number of trees along the property line over here yeah. with this most recent revision um, yeah. and, for the and, one that came out. Yeah. And that, yeah. well, that, yeah. yeah, because it, it was a fairly large tree that was coming out. So, you know, it's it's not a one for one replacement uh, on, on the trees. There's some turf area there next to it. So I just wonder if that one could be shifted to make sure that that, since it is right. only right out. <coughs> just to make sure you can see left down Kingston Pike would be my biggest concern. The one on the right, I think, would probably be okay because you don't really have to see too much. But the what's well, going to be real tricky too is they're pulling out right into a turn lane, mm -hmm. and if they want to go straight, fast. they got to get into yeah, the fast. second lane. Fast. I mean, and, and it's right there where people start to get over. So if they've been in traffic, they quickly get over. They do. Um, and that's one of the reasons. Like the vet, veterinarian, yeah. I mean, they're yeah. They're blasted. Just zip over, yeah. We talked about like so your concern is that tree there? No, no the other one. The other one. The other one. Okay. If you're wanting to turn right, we're saying she's and she's looking left. That tree is going to be a problem. Could be a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then if they're trying to go into that lane and then get into the main stream, it's right. going to be. It's going to be. Uh, you, you have, you're going to have to see quite a way down the road to make sure you have enough it's room. There's an incline there, too. I mean, there's a slope that you're going to yes. be competing with as well. <clears throat> I don't know exactly how far up it is. I mean, but I, I think it's a traffic problem. That's a, that's well, a see, tough I, I entrance. Thought we had talked about at one time. Spot was a gas station. That's not like a good spot. Like a, you know. they, they are going to, I mean, I mean they're, they're eliminating two of the three cuts that are on that property now. I mean, and that, and so. So that, that, that entrance off of some. Kingston Pike is going to be a right in, right on, right in, right out only. And it's already been approved by the Planning Commission and, to and by the town, um, and you know, you know the engineering this, staff. And then, and then the only other access to this is going to be shared easement up to the driveway where where the LCUB office is. Right. Right. Which is another terrible entrance. Mm -hmm. It is a terrible entrance. But when are they doing that? That road, that, you know, the, all of that up um, the, that you said that him, that they've already approved it. Well, well, that's going to be a, you know, be part of the development. Is is, yes, is development? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah that, the you know the drive is going to connect all the way through. Um, right between those two little oak trees. So yeah. Point right here. Okay. It's going to, you know, it, 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 it goes up like this, right. and then it, it, it ties into the existing parking and driving aisles that run in front of all those businesses all right. that then come out in front of LCUB. So, you know, so they're eliminating the driveway cut. Good. Yes, that's right. 
I didn't even look at that one. I was looking up at that. So at the that's top. the left out. Yeah. Or the right out. And then it's left. Well, I think that's eventual. So Did are you... they leaving one open towards the back in case that um, part ever gets developed behind? Yeah, that's it? a good point too. So it looks like on the bottom plan. Yeah, the the traffic circulates. You know, and it, it's it's kind of hard to see with all the landscaping and the site plan is is kind of. Um, uh, faded behind, but you know there, there's there's traffic that can go up this way, and then there's traffic that can move through the parking area uh, and up like this and out. And you know, so it 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 it, it, it ties into this, the parking lot, the existing parking lot of the uh, uh, of that uh, brick medical building that's there, and then and then it goes up to. Uh -huh. Um, I'm drawing a blank on what's the next business Fire between, station. between that and LCUB and then the yeah, on, yeah the, um, the the garage there garage and then oh. is it then, then the fire fire rural metro yeah. the fire or yeah <clears throat> is that what is this I, I don't know how to explain this the box to the right yeah that little the dumpster is it the dumpster yeah is that the dumpster <laughs> I'm like I don't know how to explain what that is. <laughs> Yeah. I, I see what you're talking about. You're, 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 you're asking about this. Yes, thank yeah. you. So, it, with the condition, will you have to come? Will they have to? Can you not see if they're going to be okay with it, and then just email us? Yeah, or, yeah, we can do that. So that it will not stop any plans for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll just verify that you know they can either move that tree back, or they can just document that you know. You know that it's going to be a, a clear vision and ask them about a monument sign because I was told at one of our meetings that they had planned to put a monument sign at that entrance well, I thought they were going to put one on Campbell Station and they said no they wanted to put it on Kingston Pike yeah. I'm not I'm not sure what it would do for them down there that far onto the either. onto that the site but, me. but maybe they've decided not to do it then. some pot would there not be wall signage yeah yeah there will be wall signage on this well, they will have something right. And side. actually, that you know, with the building pulled up, you know, close like that, if you, you know, if if you look at what they have, like at Starbucks in that area, you know, those ground signs really aren't all that effective because the signage on the on the building is mm -hmm. is up close to the road, and you can see it's same as the new um, dentist office across from Ingalls. Mm -hmm. You know, they put a small yeah. monument sign out there that's it's not particularly needed or effective because they have the, the signage there on the wall that's that's much more visible well maybe they've changed their mind and decided not to put it in it's Could possible because that's been a couple months since i heard that so this is going to be like a lot of people if it's a place to stay for a while they could park and walk across well i think it's going to be a good <clears throat> good redevelopment of that lot this is going yeah to be it's a good plan it's overall are there any other comments questions Okay. If none, do we have a motion for the Admiral Landing Landscape Plan? I'll move that we <laughs> approve it. Subject to the. Oh, subject to the uh, visibility being. Uh, at, at that intersection and, at the, that and, intersection. and the monument sign. Right. That's why we were waiting on you. Is oh. <clears throat> So we have a motion. We have a second. I'll second. All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Those opposed? All right. So under the other business, uh, is there a sign ordinance committee update this go around? Um, um, we're actually having a meeting next week, so I don't really have anything new to report. Um, we're just working on revisions to the ordinance. Uh, okay. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I want to say Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, it's the 5th. Is it the fifth? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I had one other thing I just wanted to check with y'all on. Um, uh, as you know, the uh, uh, the Walgreens and the Krogers in the area are, are you know, doing some combined type signage. Um, we got a couple of these directional type sign requests in from uh, the Walgreens to add a Kroger pickup so they can direct people within the parking lot to where the parking spaces are for the Kroger pickup um, you know they came in after the deadline to be on 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 the VRB meeting um, wanted to know whether or not y'all you know felt comfortable with us just 
you know, dealing with these internally, at, you know, f you know, from a staff review standpoint, and 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 issuing permits on them for, for that. They'll, they'll, you know, there, there'll be one at the entrance, and then there's one of the sites they're proposing to put it internal, so that people know to drive around the building to get to where the parking spaces are going to be for the Kroger pickup. So, if 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 you're comfortable with us. Um, permitting them at the staff level, we can, you know, we can just move forward with those permits. So where where are these going up? Um, at at two of the Walgreens in town. Okay. Yeah. The the one down there at the corner of Kingston Pike um, and uh, and Lovell is is one of the sites, uh, and then the other one is um, it's the the one one nine two seven um, <coughs> Kingston Pike. Down there at uh, the corner of Smith Road okay. and Kingston Pike. And each place will have two of these. Um, yeah, yeah. There, there'll be um, one of the stores is going to have them at, at both entrances to the you know to the parking lot, and uh, one of the stores is going to have uh, one at one of the entrances, and then one internal to the parking lot, you know, to direct people around the building to the you know where the uh, Kroger pickup spaces are going to be. So this one, I mean, we did Campbell Station and the Smith Road, and now you said Little Level. That's the one we had the discussion about last week. So this one's going to be Level, you well, said? Level and Level and, and Smith Road. Smith Road, because last Road. time we did Campbell. And then there's Kingston Pike and Smith Road. Yeah. Yeah, Kingston Pike and Smith Road, and then Kingston Pike and Level Road. Um, but not the one on Campbell Station Road. But we did it. On They've not requested this type of signage there yet. They may, they may in the future. You know, there are different, you know, different vendors doing it. Doing. I the think work. this is where we're confused because I, because yeah. I didn't we think didn't. we did the level road Walgreens at the last Campbell. meeting, right? Yeah. For a we Kroger pickup. And so. Smith. <clears throat> well, these are the these are the two stores that they asked for mm. these directional yeah. sites. Well, the the yeah. level yeah. road Kingston Pike does not have a sign now, right? It doesn't have any monument. Or no, no monument signs. Like so if they're doing Kroger pickup there. They're going to need something. You know, there's nothing out there presently. Well, I mean, I they, so. they just, you know, they may just go with wall signage at that store. I mean, that's their choice mm -hmm. on that. So, I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're, um, we, we've, we've processed a couple of wall sign no, we didn't. permits for those. You know, typically you don't see the wall sign permits, but, you know, we've, Hmm. We've had several wall sign permits for the for the you know to add the Kroger pickup to the Walgreens in okay. in a couple different locations, um, and we've had two of the monument sign permits you know that you have seen for the different Walgreens stores, but and in, then in our minutes it's, it's and, um, Campbell Station, North Campbell Station, and the um, Kingston Pike one. So we didn't do anything. They brought everything. Well, I, you know, I'm comfortable with you guys following through with it, especially in light of the next topic was, are we having a December meeting? Um, if we're not, then you you hate to hold them up yeah. over that. Um, what were you thinking about a December meeting? You know, if, you know, as of right now, we don't know of anything that, you know, is going to be coming in for, for that. Uh, didn't know whether you wanted to, you know, try to, to meet early to push it into January if there's something critical that needs to be done maybe earlier than the regular meeting or just or just in January you mean or yeah. in December which one in January or December well I mean, I mean it's your choice we could try to meet meet early um, in December but then again people may not have things turned in and submitted and and be expecting or if there's something critical that that needs to be reviewed you could always meet early in January if, if, if you wanted to. I would be in favor of foregoing a December meeting and I, then maybe if something is urgent, if something's urgent, we can meet in early uh, January, otherwise just do the regular January meeting. Okay. Or if it's something that, you know, we so, could do on email. So, so far nothing's come in anyway. Most of the time it's usually low. Yeah. In December anyway. Yeah. yeah. Come in yet? Yeah. We we don't know of any of any landscaping plans that we're anticipating coming in. Um, and signage, you know, it it, it it's kind of hard to tell what's going to come in. I mean, we'll just 
you know, all of a sudden we'll have three applications and then we'll go for weeks without seeing one and then we'll we'll get hit with a couple others. So it, yeah. you know, that, you know, the pace of those is kind of sporadic. Um, we've had a lot of sign requests here recently, a, a lot of wall signs and, and some ground signs and, you know, that could taper off and we could not see one for a while. And generally, <clears throat> when we moved our meeting, one of the biggest factors in determining the date is availability of the, the space. Yeah. So if we're going to move it in January, is there a date that works with the availability um, of space? I, I I could check on that and then and then email you you know like a you know uh, several different options that if we did have to meet early, what you know uh, uh, when you know when the room would be available. Because it sounds to me like we we kind of have to do that, like wait and see what's going to come in in December to find out if we should meet early or not. I mean, if nothing comes in. Sure. There's no reason because to move it. Because next week is going to be December anyway, so. Right. You know, yeah. so it, but you have to it, publish those deadlines and all that other stuff too, right? What is the deadline for you to publish so uh, so we know? Well, the deadline for to have things on the on, docket for December uh, would be 15 days prior to the meeting. So. Oh yeah, uh, you're you're getting. Yeah, it's getting. Yeah, next. I mean week that week. Tuesday before Christmas, which is on Wednesday. I mean that would not. That's our normal time, and that wouldn't work. Right. That's right. not going to work. Yeah. So That's we have to work. either move it up a week, I would think. Yeah, or or push it into or January. Move and, it to and January. More than can likely. we just forego the – can I make a motion that we just forego a December meeting period? Yeah. And then only a January – that would be a meeting in addition to our regular one. If that if, if, if there's an emergency. I okay. mean, if there's something that – or he could, I mean, if it's – do you know? I, th I think what I was trying to say is we would not meet in December. Right. But if he had a number of uh, applicants that presented something, rather than make them wait until January the 28th, which is our next meeting, he could email us and say, hey, we have a number of applicants. Could we move the January meeting to the 14th or something? Change, the tw change okay. that so meeting that would be the January meeting. meeting. Okay. Right. Work Yeah. within all of what you have to do. Notice wise and everything. You're going to know pretty much though by next week whether we're going to have anything, right? No, by the 15th. Well, he said 15 days 15 prior days to our prior meeting. meeting. Yeah. So that's going to be the 10th. It's typically the Monday that's no. that's well, you know it's it's the ninth. It's, the ninth. It's going, yeah. to, going to be it's going to know by the ninth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which is still you know still a little ways away in terms of right. people submitting things. So it's 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 kind of hard to tell. I mean you know um, we don't really anticipate any landscape plans. It's 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 the ground signs that you know they just seem to come out of out of nowhere. Someone you know wants to put up a new tenant panel. Those are easy and we can you know handle those. If, you know but if somebody wanted to put a larger like a full ground sign in. Um, that, you so know, you that. could actually, if it's kind of small or whatever, instead of you could show it to us like in the past we've done and say, do you approve or whatever, correct, for December? If it's something that you feel as though is really important. Yeah, if, it, if, it's, if it's something minor, we can reach out to you and okay. find out about that. I think that's a workable plan if yeah. it's, okay. everybody's in agreement. In agreement. So as of right now, it's going to be a typical January scheduled meeting, except for the fact if there's something that he's going to say, hey, we need to meet earlier in January. Right. And no December. December. And no December. And you're going to handle the directional signs. Yeah, for these. Okay. All right, is there anything else we need to discuss this month? We did have a successful uh, stream cleanup. Yeah. <laughs> Randy, Rick, we did. No. Yeah, we did. <laughs> and Lily, awesome. It didn't take very long, did it? Uh, it doesn't after if you do it like once. It uh, once a year. We did <laughs> discuss possibly doing it um, again and moving the date because we didn't know how it got to be um, at that time of year because none of us had done it, but we discussed moving it to like a, what was it, like April or May, Sometimes he was spring. saying, mm -hmm. in spring, because all the leaves they, had fallen. It was cold, it. and all the leaves had fallen, and so we couldn't see everything. And so um, the guy who helped us said, maybe spring would be better to do this. Maybe you all could do it again in spring and change the date to spring. So 
we said we would discuss it. The, wor the one thing that people were worried about doing in like March or something are snakes coming out. <laughs> so that's the the. Uh, no, that's a good. <laughs> that's why that Mark wanted always to do it that's like great. September cool. or you know that kind I didn't of. Think time. about that. I was out there. Huh? I didn't, he said the copperheads hiding the leaves, and there were leaves all over oh, the place. That's true too. <laughs> I, said, I didn't even think. Oh, now I, you tell I, me. But I know that's why they didn't do it in the past, or you know, then it's because of the snakes. Well, maybe in April there. Anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. All right, that's it. Thank you, guys.